Hello everybody, welcome to web development video number 23. In this video, we're going to look at how to make a simple drop-down select box in HTML. The code challenge for this video is to put this login form that we've been making into a table, and just this first part. But put it in a table so that it looks nice. Alright, now on to select boxes. We wrap select boxes in the select tag. And then each option inside goes in an option tag. Logical. Now, let's say we're making a sandwich shop online or something like that. So I could say ham and paste down a couple of these. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ham, cheese, bacon, lettuce, peppers, pickles, and tomato, and then a couple more meats, so I'll say chicken, and, whoops, turkey. Cool. So now if we save and refresh, we get this nice drop-down menu box here. And we can select different options that we want on our sandwich. Cool. Now, in the last video, I mentioned the name attribute. If you want to add a name to your select box, you just add it up here on the name tag. And I'm going to say sandwich select. That's the name. And that doesn't affect, affect behavior at all. All right, next we can specify a default option other than this first option, which will be selected by default. Otherwise, we can select the default option by specifying the selected attribute there. And then peppers will be by default selected. There, see? Okay, the last thing we're going to learn in this video is the multiple attribute, which we add to the select box. Multiple. This allows us to select more than one option at a time because of course if you have cheese on your sandwich you're probably going to want lettuce and maybe something else like ham or tomato but you can select all of those at a time but we have so many different toppings here it's almost a little bit hard to scroll through this and tell what options there are so let's make the box a little bit bigger by changing the size attribute. And I'm going to set this to 6. It should make it big enough. We refresh. Now it is 6 options that we can see at once. And that makes it easy to tell how many options there are. And if we have this multiple attribute here, we can select multiple different options to be selected by default. So let's make the ultimate sandwich with these 5 options. Save and refresh. Now all of those are selected by default. Cool. There you go, everybody. That's a quick overview of select boxes in HTML. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Jacob, and have a good one.